Today's video is going to be a little different. We're about to dive into the fascinating history of Padre Pio with the help of the photographs sent to us by Mr. George Martin, who personally delivered our petitions to a place of profound significance for Padre Pio. Stay tuned. Welcome to our YouTube channel following Padre Pio about the Capuchin friar, mystic and miracle worker whose intercession is still very powerful and active today. We publish videos and shorts five days a week, so follow us to find out more about the life of this fascinating saint and you will be amazed at what Padre Pio can do for you, a family member or a friend. Hello everyone, I'm excited to showcase some wonderful photographs we received from Mr. George Martin. He kindly delivered our petitions to the significant chapel of St. Francis of Assisi, a place deeply connected to Padre Pio. Let's dive right in and enjoy these images and insights together. In this photograph, we are greeted by the gates of Piana Romana, serving as the entrance to the chapel of St. Francis. Piana Romana, located on the outskirts of Pertulcina, is a flat plain of farmland. It holds special significance as Padre Pio's family once owned a small plot of land there. In this second photograph, we are presented with the exterior front of the chapel. This is the exact place where both your intentions and mine were delivered. Seems like a wonderful spring day, not a single cloud in sight. In the third photograph, we encounter an information board that sheds light on the history of the chapel of St. Francis and its significance to Padre Pio and the phenomenon of stigmata. The board reads, Chapel of St. Francis of Assisi. This chapel, dedicated to St. Francis of Assisi, was constructed in 1958, on the very spot where Padre Pio experienced the first stigmatization. Initially, there stood a humble hut leaning against an elm tree. Padre Pio confined in Father Raffaele that his relatives had built this hut for him at the foot of the elm tree, where he would often retreat to breathe the pure air of Piana Romana, meditate and recite prayers. It was under this very elm tree in 1910 that Padre Pio received the extraordinary gift of stigmata for the first time. Writing to Father Benedetto on September 8, 1911, Padre Pio shared his experience. On the evening of the third day, something happened to me that I cannot explain or understand. A small red mark, about the size of a cent, appeared on the middle of my palms, accompanied by sharp and intense pain. The pain was particularly intense in my left hand, and it has persisted. I also experienced some discomfort under my feet. This phenomenon has been reoccurring for almost a year now. Although the visible signs eventually disappeared, the pain endured. Father Pio further wrote to Father Agostino on March 21, 1912. From Thursday evening until Saturday, and even on Tuesday, it is a tragedy for me. It feels as if my heart, hands, and feet have been pierced by a sword. The pain is indescribable. Beneath this account, we find the testimony of Father Salvatore, who served as the parish priest of Pertulcina. When Father Salvatore was informed in 1918 that Padre Pio had received the stigmata in San Giovanni Rotondo, he said to his niece, Grazia Penulo and Lucia Tadanza, You know it now, but I have known since 1910. Intrigued, his niece asked him to share the story. Father Salvatore recounted, On the afternoon of September 7, 1910, while Padre Pio was praying under the elm tree in Piana Romana, seeking solace in the fresh air, Jesus and the Virgin Mary appeared to him, bestowing upon him the sacred stigmata. The next morning, when he came to the village to celebrate Holy Mass, he shared every detail with me. He also expressed, Please, pray to Jesus to relieve me from this confusion. I am willing to suffer, to die of suffering, but in secrecy. I replied, My son, I will join you in prayer and implore Jesus to alleviate this confusion. However, if it is God's will, you must submit to His plan. Remember, 
if this suffering is for the salvation of souls and the greater good of the world, you must say to Jesus, Do with me as you will. This detailed account, along with Father Salvatore's personal testimony, gives us important insights into Padre Pio's remarkable experience and spiritual journey. It shows that Padre Pio never sought attention for himself, but God had a different plan in mind. Now let's take a look inside the chapel. We can see Mr. George Martin holding our petitions, surrounded by a peaceful atmosphere. In the background, we notice the trunk of the elm tree where Padre Pio would frequently find solace and meditate. There is also a statue of Padre Pio kneeling in front of the crucified Jesus, a powerful symbol of his deep devotion. And here is the most important photograph. Mr. Martin is placing our petitions into the petition box. As you can see, there's a lot of them, so special thanks to Mr. Martin for his efforts. And that concludes our journey. A heartfelt appreciation goes out to Mr. Martin for delivering our petitions and sharing these photographs with us. Thank you all for watching and please stay tuned for the next video on the life of Father Pio. Dear friends, our ardent goal and desire with this YouTube apostolate is to inspire people so they do not give up hope and faith in God in these certainly very trying times. This is our ardent goal and desire. But to accomplish this for the long term, this following Padre Pio project needs to be financially self-sustaining. We also aim for a bigger and better apostolate. Our Protected Child of Padre Pio program helps us to fulfill both of these important goals for the salvation of souls, souls for whom our Lord Jesus Christ died on the cross. We have regular Masses celebrated for those who join. These Masses will be celebrated especially for your intentions, as well for any intentions Padre Pio may have. By joining, you'll also be a part of a network of Padre Pio devotees, all praying for each other. Additionally, you will receive one or more beautiful gifts as a token of our gratitude. A personalized A4 certificate of appreciation, confirming your inclusion in our monthly or weekly Padre Pio Masses. An A5 full-color printed photo. To me, it's certainly one of the more beautiful photos of Padre Pio. His goodness and charisma really seem to shine through. It's an A5 size and ready to frame. A prayer booklet of Padre Pio's favorite prayers, printed specially for you. And depending on your level of support, we will send you this beautiful statue of Padre Pio. Sacred Scripture says, those who instruct many to justice shall shine as stars for all eternity. By becoming a protected child of Padre Pio, you will be helping souls in need. Padre Pio promised he would wait for his spiritual children at the gates of heaven. Find out more by clicking the link in the description below.